Hey guys, have any of you ever heard of machine rated wood? I hadn't, not until recently anyway. Welcome back to the Simple Ground Homestead. I'm on an adventure today and I'm going to take you with me. All right, first part of the story. <clears throat> I ordered some wood to finish off the deck and start the inside of the house, right? Here's some two by eight rafters that are, or that I bought to be rafters above the deck. The engineered plans call for select structural wood. Now, before I started this whole deal, I heard of number twos. <laughs> that's about all I've ever used. But select structural, I guess that's a pretty awesome thing. And a lot of the lumber yards said that they'd have a hard time getting them in. They just need to order them for me, right? Well, I said. Pull the trigger. Let's get them ordered. They ordered them in, sent me these guys. Machine rated wood. Have you ever heard of that? I never ever heard of that. It's been around for a long time though. I had to roll up my sleeves and do some research. Machine rated lumber is uh, wood that's been put through a stressed machine. It doesn't damage the wood, but it tests the stress load and the flexibility of the wood, or the elasticity. Anyway, terms that are very specific for the field that I don't quite understand 100%. <clears throat> As I did my digging, I found out two things. First, machine rated lumber ranges in strength, right? Just like other grades. It has some pretty fantastic stipulations and just like visual grading does, and uh, it's for very specific applications. Can machine graded wood uh, do the job of visually graded wood? Well, of course. Can I use this machine graded wood? That's another story. So, yeah, I uh, started down the path of can I actually use it because I actually don't want to take it back and the answer is maybe <laughs> I got a few different answers from a few different people of course the guy that sold me the wood was like dude your engineers over engineered this deck of yours a normal 2 by 8 number 2 quality would span it according to the regulations of the county right well, okay, I guess I can get that. So I called the engineers, and the engineers said, well, we spec out what we spec out, you should use it, or we could go through the effort to spec out this size, it'll cost you a little extra money. Now, I need to be full disclosure here, it seemed like they told me that, because they just didn't like the idea that I ordered one kind of wood and got a different kind of wood, right? I didn't order this stuff. I ordered select structural. That's what it says on my my ticket. That's what the guy said he was going to get me. That's not what came. So I'm not sure if I got a good straight answer out of him on whether or not this would actually work. And yeah, I think they took a side really quickly on that. <laughs> um, so I called the county I called the building inspector and he kind of did the same thing the engineers did he said first of all he had never seen a stamp for machine rated wood I said that's kind of surprising because it seems to be pretty common especially in trusses maybe he looks at something else but he said even when he looks at trusses he's used to seeing the normal stamp whatever right but he said he's not going to accept it unless he recognizes the stamp. And he doesn't rec recognize this machine rated stuff. So take it back. So I guess I'm going to be taking this back. But you can come with me on the trip, okay? So I'm in the truck and I'm heading on over to the lumber yard. I have all the lumber in the back that I'm going to take back. All those 2 by 8s I called him... I think it was about eight, or what time was it? Been a few hours now that I've called him. He didn't answer the phone, and I left a message, and he hasn't called me back. 
I just figure, just like any normal person, he doesn't want to deal with it. But I figure I can go over and talk it out in person, leave these with him. See, the deal is, is I ordered select structural lumber. That's not what I got, so I'm taking it back. <laughs> I never liked doing this, but whatever, I'm working on my tough face. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm headed over, I'm gonna work on that. I know that he's not going to have what I need in stock when it come, or what I ordered in the first place. But the engineers gave me a couple options. The first option, and the one I liked the best, was two by eights, but they had to be select structural grade. The second op option is number two, two by tens. I know there isn't very much of a difference, and that's what I'll end up getting. I'll just trade these ones out for some 2x10s and pay them the difference. See how that all turns out. They probably will pay me back some. Now I'm not angry at the guy. I don't think he did anything wrong. I think he did the best he could. See what happened was he called the supplier that he could think of and got what he thought would work. The supplier that he was talking to probably told him Hey, I'll give you the equivalent board. He thought that was just fine, right? I guess I was ordering something that's a little harder to find. Not as common for people to order stuff, or for engineers to engineer stuff this way. At least that's what I'm getting out of the whole deal. It's taught me a lot. I've learned a lot about boards and grading boards and stuff like that, so it was a good education for me as long as it doesn't make me lose money in the end, right? I'm not going to eat this cost if I can help it. Alright guys, headed home. Um, I came prepared and he was prepared. We were both prepared. <laughs> I was going in there rip-roaring ready to switch things up. And I was saying, hey, I'm going to switch these 2x8s for 2x10s, you know. And he said, hold on, hold on, hold on. So he pulls out his engineering schematics here. Uh, the, the company that sold him the wood is a trust company. So they work in these, these machine-rated lumber all the time. And they have their own engineers on, on staff. So one of the engineers just stuck a bunch of numbers together to show me off the charts, you know, just took them off the, the charts, copied and pasted the charts for me all on one sheet. And they all show that, except for elasticity, these boards are stronger than select structural. So basically, I'm getting a stronger board um, when I have these boards, right? And he told me that he understood some of the boards weren't pretty and they were bad. Like, they, it wasn't just weren't pretty, they were bad. And so he said, take those ones out. Um, he would exchange them because he's on his way over to that place tomorrow anyway. Give me good looking ones to replace them with and then you drop them off at my house no extra charge so i figure that's a pretty good deal um can't can't argue with that one too hard the trouble is do i have enough information to convince the building inspector that i have a better board here and i think the answer is yes um, he armed me with a couple things he convinced me anyway I'm pretty skeptical, but uh, yeah, I think I think I walked in there with a deal and walked out of there with a different deal, but a good deal. Don't feel cheated. Hope I'm not. <laughs> it's been interesting to put this video together. It's interesting to see me go in with guns blazing, ready to change the world, switch those 2x8s for 2x10s and leave. I knew exactly the outcome, right? And then I left with something completely different.
I was able to be talked into something else and off I went. But I guess it's just being true to what really happened. That's reality. I do want to know what your guys' opinion is. Um, have you guys ever worked with machine rated lumber? I mean, to me, the research I've been able to do, I think I'm okay. But it'd be interesting to hear from people with experience to see if I'm completely crazy, right? This is me calling out for help, huh? It's also good, I think, to show this side of things for anybody that's trying to do this sort of thing on their own. The reality of building your own home is this. Uh, it's very common to have materials be delivered that you didn't call for, or mistakes to be made on your order, or deliveries being delayed, or the delivery driver ruining your stuff. <laughs> you know, this is all really common. It's just the way it seems to go. And at first, it, well, it's still rough. It's never easy. But at first, it was almost debilitating. And now I've learned to see it, anticipate it, and take it in stride. It's just the way it goes. Anyway, you've heard me ramble for this whole video. It's time for me to stop, huh? Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for being a part of my journey. And I hope this video was informative. Um, in fact, I hope this video helps the person that was like me, <laughs> that gets an order of machine rated lumber and doesn't even know what it is. I hope I helped at least a little bit. I know I wasn't technical at all, but I hope I helped. Anyway, if this video was helpful for you, uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more about our journey, uh, take a look around. Uh, take a look around at my, my channel, see what we're up to. We're having a lot of fun out here on the Simple Ground Homestead. Don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, thanks for taking this journey with us on Simple Ground.